Now, here's what fires me up today. I keep seeing rumors of a potential trade sending veteran quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo from the 49ers to Seattle. By the way, that would be a trade within their division. First of all, the this potential trade doesn't make sense to me. I hate that it's out there. Uh, I don't believe it's going to happen. It's it, it's slightly infuriating to me, actually. Uh, people like the idea because Seattle is basically the only place Jimmy Garoppolo could go and also compete for a starting job immediately. Uh, now, Seattle should not trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. He's a known entity. He's a solid quarterback. He's fine. He's not great. He's not horrible. He's solid. You, you have Jimmy Garoppolo, and you probably go, if Seattle brings in Jimmy G, you go 8-9, and nine, maybe 9-8 nine and eight with him, and that's fair enough. Okay. But that doesn't help Seattle at all because you need to find out if your young quarterback, Drew Locke, is any good. Drew Locke is 25 years old. He's either going to show you this year that he's really good and then you continue to build around him and use your draft picks to help him. Or if he's bad, Seattle's going to have a bad year, have a high draft pick. It can use that draft pick to draft a quarterback in the next NFL draft. So the only way moving forward for Seattle right now is to figure out if Drew Locke is good. Wasting time with Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't help you. You got to figure out your next superstar franchise quarterback. I think it's very possible that Drew Locke could do well in Seattle, actually. He kind of got screwed over in Denver. He had a defensive head coach, Vic Fangio, who never really gave him a great chance. In my opinion, I think Vic Fangio, 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 however you say his name. I, I honestly still to this day don't really know how to properly say that guy's name. Vic Fangio, Fangio, I don't know. Um, he was kind of a curmudgeon. He didn't trust the offensive side of the ball, very similar to Mike Zimmer in Minnesota. And they even fired an offensive coordinator that I liked, Rich Gangarello. They had a guy that I thought was awesome, who I thought was good at putting quarterbacks in a good situation play calling wise. They fired him. They brought in Pat Shermer. Pat, Pat Shermer with the New York Giants. He had a young quarterback, Daniel Jones. It didn't work. It didn't work with Daniel Jones. It didn't work with Drew Locke. And I, like I said, I think you can make a strong argument that Denver was not a good situation for Drew Locke. Now in Seattle, Drew Locke is throwing to Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf at receiver. They've got a young stud tight end, Noah Fant. I think there is a chance that Drew Locke will do very well in Seattle. I'm not saying, I'm not pro proclaiming that he will. That's not a prediction, but I'm saying there's a, there's a pathway here for Drew Locke to be good. One of the alternate realities, one of them is Drew Locke being a good quarterback and playing well. And I'm open to that possibility. I think that would be very exciting. Now, so like I said, that's the, the way forward for Seattle right now is to figure out how good is Drew Locke. Wasting time with Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't help you better your franchise right now. Now, the Jimmy Garoppolo rumor started when a report came out that the Seattle Seahawks were having discussions about trading for Jimmy Garoppolo. <clears throat> and uh, this really irritated me. <laughs> it's I I have a I, I'm pretty I'm pre, a pretty pre, a patient person. I I don't get irritated very often. This one got me. This is one of the stories, and I talked about it recently. Uh, you know, J John Middlecoff was talking about this, and I put it on Instagram, and he posted my story on his Instagram story. Um, here's the point. It was annoying that people thought Seattle was, you know, going to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo because having a discussion about Jimmy Garoppolo is not the same as targeting him. It's your job as an NFL scouting department. Anytime a player becomes available, every team has a conversation about potentially trading for them. That's their job. You have to consider everything. And the fact that people, like I said thought that having a conversation about Jimmy Garoppolo is the same as targeting Jimmy Garoppolo was really frustrating. Again, that's the job. 
you go to your job, you do your job, they go to their job, their job is to evaluate players and decide whether or not they should try to make a move for them. Every player that come becomes available, every team has a conversation about. And I, I just really found it irritating that people misconstrued that and went, oh my gosh, can you believe Seattle's going to trade for the 49ers quarterback? What? No, that's not what it means. And so not only does it not make sense for Seattle to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo, it'd be a step not only sideways, but backwards. Because like I said, your best case scenario is you either find out, hey, Drew Locke isn't very good. We suck. Let's draft a quarterback in the first round next year. Or, hey, Drew Locke can play. Let's build around him. That's the plan, as it should be. You don't benefit by having an average year with an average quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo. It'd be a step backward and less progress than you're making now. So not only would it be a bad idea, I also don't believe it's actually going to happen. I think this is a report that got blown out of proportion, and this is why I'm irritated. So Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't make sense to be traded to Seattle, and I don't think they're genuinely interested in trading for Jimmy Garoppolo. So um, I I had to get that out. I've been writing about that. It's been bothering me. There you go.